Hello everyone, welcome to ashatech.com, your engineering sciences channel. In this video, we have a question that is uh, solving a problem on Bernoulli's principle that involves application of a siphon. The guiding question says a siphon has a uniform saturated bore of 75 mm and consists of a bent pipe with its crest 1.8 meters above water level discharging into the atmosphere at a level 3.6 meters below a water level. Find the velocity of flow discharge through the pipe and the absolute pressure at the crest level if the atmospheric pressure is equivalent to 10 meters of water and we are told to neglect losses due to friction. We have to understand the application of a siphon uh, because the siphon usually is used to, for example, discharge a particular fluid or liquid from a reservoir which can be a tanker or a drum and it can be discharging to a point that is below the level of that uh, tank. Therefore, you, put, you insert in a pipe of, 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 of the determined diameter or, or length and, and the, whose dimensions are known, you suck the air here and due to atmospheric, of course you suck from here and due to atmospheric pressure, uh, the fluid in here will rise, okay, and occupy the space within this pipe. And uh, remember, when you suck the air, it creates a vacuum and creates a low pressure, and by atmospheric pressure, the liquid flows up to uh, where you want it, okay. So, this is atmospheric pressure, it is also a charging the atmosphere so if we consider our siphon to be having a uh, uh, three points we have from point a point b where you have a crest and point c where you're discharging the fluid the dimensions are given these distances are given because from the water level to the crest is 1.8 meters and below the water level to where you're discharging the height or the vertical distance is 3.6 Meter. The data given uh, is that we have the diameter of the siphon, which is 75 millimeters, that would give you 0 0.075 meters, and meaning that its cross sectional area would be pi d squared out of 4, the diameter is 0 0.075 meters, and therefore area would be equivalent to 0 0.0044. Now, let us apply Bernoulli's principle between A and C. If we apply Bernoulli's principle between A and C, it means we can say it is PA, the pressure at A, divided by rho G plus. At the level, if we consider by the way the datum, if we consider the datum at C, okay, so it means if I want the, the potential energy per unit weight at point A, it will be the height above the datum, which will be y2. So it will be y2. Then what about velocity? The velocity, it will be velocity at A. So it will be VA squared out of 2G. So if we complete the Bernoulli's principle between A and C, then it means this one will equal to PC out of rho G plus a zero, the elevation energy per unit weight at this point remember we are taking c to be our data so the height above c is going to be zero so it will be plus zero plus vb squared out of 2g whereby vb is uh, is actually vc it is supposed to be vc because we are talking about velocity at c velocity of the fluid at c so pa and pc are the atmospheric pressures because since uh, A is exposed to the atmosphere and C is exposed to the atmosphere, then the pressures will be atmospheric. And since we are dealing with gauge pressures, this would uh, reduce the pressures to zero. So if we can take them to be zero, then they will cancel each other. We will have zero, zero this side. Then if VA is equal to zero, remember the water in the container here is at rest. So VA is equal to zero meters per second okay so if we substitute those values in here the given values we shall have zero plus y2 plus zero 
is equal to 0 plus 0 plus vc squared out of 2g. g is 9.81 so it will be uh, vc squared out of 2 times 9.81 but remember why 2 uh, the height above c to point a is 3.6 meters because when you look at it this is 3.6 meters and therefore y2 is 3.6 meters meaning that substituting all these values would give me vc uh, equivalent to the square root of 2 times 9.81 times 3.6 which gives us 8.4 meters per second so the velocity of flow velocity of flow will equal to that now we got part b of this problem we want discharge discharge is equal to 2 and is equal to area times velocity uh, remember we are discharging to at c so it will be area of cross section times velocity at c Area is already given, is calculated as 0 0.00442 meters squared. Then it means discharge will be the velocity 8.4 times the area. And this would give me 0 0.0371 meters cubed per second as the discharge of the liquid flowing through the siphon. Part C of this question, uh, we want to determine the pressure at point B. Uh, given that actually we are to determine the absolute pressure uh, given that the atmospheric pressure is 10 meters of water so if we apply Bernoulli's principle between A and B with the data at C it means PA uh, out of rho G plus Y2 plus VA squared out of 2G is equal to PB out of rho G plus Y plus Y2 plus VB squared out of 2G this is the data uh, data energy above uh, data at C then uh, Y2 is the data energy or elevation energy above data C to point A uh, VA remember is 0 so this will reduce to 0 PA is atmospheric therefore since we are dealing with gauge pressures in this particular equation then uh, PA will reduce to 0 so that we have uh, Y2 remember Y2 and the y2 here can also cancel each other so that we remain with uh, 0 plus 0 plus 0 equal to pb out of rho g plus y1 plus vb squared out of 2g but remember we needed also determine vb uh, since we know the continuity equation we can apply 2 is equal to a vb is equal to a vc uh, this a can cancel with that a we remain with vb equal to vc and therefore since vb vc is equal to 8.4 meters per second then vb is equal to 8.4 meters per second so if we substitute it in our equation above it means zero is equal to pb out of rho g plus y1 plus vb squared out of 2g which is equal to uh, P, uh, 0 is equal to PB out of rho G plus 1.8 plus 8.4 squared out of 2 times 9.81 and this would give us negative uh, uh, 5.4 as PB out of rho G. Since we know the absolute pressure is equal to the gauge pressure plus should be gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure remember what we use in the Bernoulli's equation is gauge pressure so the gauge pressure is given is calculated as negative 5.4 then atmospheric pressure is given as 10 so it means our absolute pressure absolute pressure will equal to negative 5.4 plus 10 which gives uh, 4.6 meters um, of water 0.6 of water meaning that if i'm to convert it to pascals or kilopascals it would give me 4.6 times 9.81 times a thousand in other words this is uh, the specific weight of water uh, this is um, this is h times the specific weight of water and this would give you cos 4.6 times 9.81 times uh, th that is g then times density which is 1000 it means absolute pressure therefore absolute pressure in this problem will equal to 45.126 kilopascal thank you so much